Hello everybody, it's been a while, welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I know, I know, I've been gone for a little bit in terms of playing Mass Effect, we did a lot of Metro, and we've done some Far Cry, uh, and as I spin the turn around here, I, uh, yeah, I know I've been gone from Mass Effect for a little while, but, uh, you know, the thing about, uh, playing this game is that uh, I have to, you know, I'm playing on the Xbox, and my Xbox sits over by my computer, and where I live, it gets really hot sitting over there, so it's hard for me to stream during the day in terms of doing that, but I've moved my Xbox back to my TV, and I'm finally on the TV again playing, um, so yeah, uh, just want to check real quick here before we begin, that everything looks fine. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Um, just want to make sure that everything was good. I always have to turn off auto HDR because this game uh, hates it. And so, yeah. Um, the last time we played, we did a bunch of planetary exploring and whatnot. Um, and now that we're back, we're here on this planet, and I believe this is the uh, the planet where we gotta uh, get Liara um, and everything. So uh, we're gonna do some more planetary exploring today and going around and all that uh, nonsense. So uh, God, it's been so long since I've played this game. Um, it just all right. Uh, let's see. So. I do know that now we don't get instantly destroyed when we drive into lava, um, as we used to, as the game used to. Um, playing this game on my TV, it actually looks a lot better than it did on my monitor. Um, okay, just to make sure I remember the controls. It's actually been a couple months since I played this. Um, paid attention to the path. Oh, the, you know, still need to, still need a little bit of uh, finesse when it comes to this thing. Jump, oh yeah, it's, it's A for the jump boosters. their little, uh, little walkie men. This wasn't close enough. Let's get a little closer. Alright, well. Fuck the turret. Bye, walkie men. Yeah, the lava looks great. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it still baffles me every time I play this that the game actually just looks so much better not Only having to punch the math garbage map. graphics anymore. You should sneak around and pull its tail. All right, well, you're probably right, Rex. Let's... Go around. I can get a control on this thing. Another 
guy around there somewhere. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that guy got fucking wiped out. Alright, where the hell are you? There we go. Get wrecked. Uh, there's probably a guy in here. He's on the other side of the wall, anyway. Let's see, what do we have around here? Okay, um... Ah, here we are. Uh, we'll just, we'll still just take all this crap. Oh yeah, I forgot I brought Caden in. I, I knew, I knew that I, I remembered I brought Rex, but I forgot I brought Caden. I want to get the achievement for doing a uh, quest with him. Because once we get the good team, I'm never gonna, uh, once I have like everybody I'm probably only going to use a couple of people. I always got to remember that the, the controls are always just going to be different. Maybe I shouldn't have parked the, Ma the Mako so close. go. Get in the truck! This, this thing kind of has like warthog controls a little bit. It's like they're always so weird and finicky and you're just like, meh. This over here, what is this? Oh, just a crate. Take all those. Well, this was a useless room. Where the gate control is going to be. You know what? I gotta really once again still like the the sound effects are still just so fucking loud. Every time I like fire a gun, I can't ever like hear myself talk. It's right, there we go. Gates open. Are you sprint. <laughs> sprint to the truck. All right. We're all back in. Um, we're continuing forward here. Oh no, it's the Geth Walkers! Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's left bumper. Not right trigger, uh, left trigger. A trigger is the aim. Oh, speaking of the aim. Woo! We're driving, we're driving back.
backwards. We're driving backwards. There we go. That's a level up. Dumb idiots. Well, that was not very nice. But unlike the Thresher Maw that we went up against, this is a. These guys are nothing. These guys are just little bitches compared to that thing. It always seems like the Thresher Maw is what just destroys you the most. Auto save. Whew. All right, well, there's a facility over there. What we got? We got anything? Oh yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and get the upgrade while we're at it. Okay, let's see. Um, unity. Intimidate. Saw them as a sword for 2% more credits. You know what? That could be useful. health. Yeah, let's do that as well. Okay. Um, for Caden. Let's see. He does medicine, so I don't ever use powers with him, because you have to, you have to, like, basically tell him to do stuff. I'll just put all of his points in there. <laughs> medicine! Uh, Rex, of course. Good old shotgun Rex. Um, and then let's do uh, what do we have here oh geth armatures the little walkie peoples shotgun here, which I remember I mark everything as junk until, like I mean, I'll give it to other people, but I just mark it as junk. Oh, this has better accuracy, but not better damage. So it's 10% less damage uh Oh wait! And now that I'm looking at it, I feel like a, I feel like such an idiot. I was thinking that the accuracy and the heat sink were better, but it's not. They're just okay. Well, I feel like an idiot now. Um. Oh well. Oh, it's like the same. This is heavy armor, which I'm never going to end up using heavy armor. Plus, I'm not rated for heavy armor anyway, so... Uh, I'll keep the... I'll keep the... Uh, Uh, this is better for him as well. Oh wait, that's a terrain armor. Never mind. How come he can't? How come he can't use this? How come he 
can't use like the medium armor. I'll just mark everything as trash for now, I guess. As I do. Over here. Oh my god, turning around is just a nightmare. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, get up. There we go. Oh, well, this is where we... Oh, there's a jammer. Let's get out here. Still fatigued, apparently. So, uh, he's using a saw rifle, and I have... Ooh. There we go. That's what we're talking about right there. Hell yeah. That like burst fire with the sniper. Perfecto. rifle is actually fucking great. <laughs> I like this more than my assault rifle at this point. Oh, oh. There we go. Because it's just delivering like three shots. Oh, don't go over there. That's not the way we want to go. I forgot how to throw a grenade. I think it's X. Fire in the hole. All clear. Hey. Uh oh. Oh no! It's the Geth. Uh, it's the Geth uh, frogs. I think they're called stalkers. Or Doesn't matter. Armatures! They're drugs. Now, see, now on foot, these guys are a bit of a problem. But not a problem.
Did I just use a med kit? I don't know why I did that. Those guys, the uh, the walkers, they're not they're not fun when you're on foot. But in a in the Mako, they're nothing. All right, in we go. Running straight down the pipe. Man, I really dig this sniper rifle. What is the? Uh, what am I using? Uh, for the sniper. The hammer three. See ya. We got this jammer active, so blow themselves up. Bye bye. <laughs> that guy was still alive, but he was sliding. He was sliding down. <laughs> He'd been knocked on his ass. He was sliding down. Oh, this game. There's. There's always some funny moments when it comes to combat that you never, like, expect. Long way down. Long way down. I think we have to... Come over to this thing? No, this is... Long way down. See ya. Yes, we shall s in enjoy our elevator ride down. So, anybody want to talk about anything? No? Just gonna stand here and no? Oh, there's a. That a gel. Oh boy! Expect. Down we go again. Oh god. All oh, the elevator's broken. Oh great. Hey! Hi! Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped, I need help! Uh, <laughs> keep it down! Liara Tassoni, I presume? Thank the goddess. 
I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Um, okay, well, can you answer some questions? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? Oh. I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. Okay, well... How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! Alright, well, uh... Any suggestions on how we can help? What, am I, what do you want me to do? There is a control here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how. Look how the barrier stuff makes her look like she's all pixelated and shit. There was a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Uh, okay. Well, Rex, that's your department. So. another level up. Oh, he... Oops. Let me do that. I meant to go in here. Okay, so, let's see here. Um, I mean, might as well do that. Uh, let's see. This. And uh, how about combat armor as well? We can continue to work on like assault rifles as well. As well. Although a sniper rifle. Actually, you know what? Let me sink some some sniper rifle points here. Alright, so we'll do medicine, we'll get the final one for that. Um, and then like... You know, that as well. Alright, so... Uh, he's got barrier and warp. And we'll do... Uh, well, Abel's the use of heavy armor. Alright, so we'll be able to actually give him heavy armor now. Um, let me see here. This is a better shotgun for him. I'm gonna give him this one just because I'm gonna give like Rex the other one. Let's see here. The edge three. Uh, we'll give him the hammer two. This is a better duration bonus. Not as good at power or cooldown. It's not like I'm really using it all that much anyway. Can he only use light armor then? So his shields are down, but his damage protection is up. Ah, eh, fuck it, we'll do. Oh well, he then now he looks like me. I don't want to look like me. 
I don't want them to look like me. Okay. Um, yeah. Hop or oh, hoppers. Call them hoppers then. Okay. Okay, well, uh, let's get down here then. Uh... Oh, yeah, get wrecked. There we go. What do you mean the area is not clear of enemies? Maybe? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll, I might just take a look at, like, all the, like, the ammo stuff and, and everything, like, won't waste our time, like, going through all that and changing it to everything if I want to <laughs> upgrade the different ammo skills on the guns. You gotta remember, this game is very much RPG versus, like, the other two games, which were not as RPG. Oh, fuck. How do I... Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to press in the combination. It's A. Okay, so it's A. X. A. X. B. Y. B? A X B Y Y A X B Y X Oh there's <laughs> I wonder what the last combo would have been A B <laughs> Alright um Oh it's an elevator Here I am. I I am I am oh, I've How did you yeah. get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Uh it was we easy. Blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Button. That's a whole fuck. It's a whole ass like system. It's not a button. It's a whole ass LCD screen. Oh, uh, uh, LED. Excuse out of this me. Place. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. Yeah, I broke the elevator. I I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert, he probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Then let's get out of here. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the norm of the airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. On oh, the no, double, mister. Not much margin for error. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Well, here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> Kate and Rex. Uh oh. Oh, there's the Krogan they were talking about. <laughs> Rex already got his gun on him. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. Uh, I won't. <laughs> Look at that. Thanks for the achievement. Um, I'm covering the. We don't have time to Kill deal with this bastard. idiot. Charge! <laughs> yeah, shoot this fucker. I like your attitude. Like 
a sore thumb. Oh god. Oh god, he's charging me. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our Man. sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? It it's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50 years? Well, if I say 50 years, you'll be like, I mean 50 years. You don't look a day over 20. It's because they live forever. How old are you exactly? I See? hate to admit it, but I am only 106. <laughs> Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Well, who came before them? If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... 
How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. So what good are you? I don't know you? why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Welcome Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you laid out of my quarters, slept? if you'd like? Dr. Chakwa I should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Here's the thing. In the first game, Liara is a little robotic. She's very like, yes, I would be examined by a medical professional. She's very C-3PO. But she... I'm telling you, like, she is one of the best romance options. She is a character that really becomes like in 2 and 3 a a character that like well you know within 2 she becomes a character that is really well evolved and adapted and that like is great we so, can talk yeah. again after you've seen the doctor the rest of you dismissed mission reports are filed commander you want me to patch you through to the council patch him through yeah. joker setting up the link now commander We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth was. were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Okay, well... There we go. Alright, um... Codex, yeah, Cypher... Prothean Beacon downloads knowledge. The cipher needed to comprehend the images implanted in Shepard's mind as the cultural knowledge of the Prothean. The archetypes, biological instincts, and common experiences universal to the race. Alright, we're good on that. Alright, um. So. Uh, we're still here in this place. Um, I think we checked on that. And these are the two plants we haven't seen yet. Uh,. Phaistos is a small terrestrial with a trace atmosphere of carbon dioxide and xenon. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of sulfur and various silicates. There is of little interest on this desolate world. Armini. 
Armenia is a terrestrial world with usually thin atmosphere of uh, unusually thin atmosphere of krypton and xenon. Its surface is composed of silica with deposits of carbonaceous materials. The initial flyby probe of Armenia detected multiple areas of the equator with oddly regular surface protrusions. Closer investigation revealed these as millions of elaborate crypts and a few meters below the surface left by. Oh yeah, that's right. We we actually read about that. All right, so we have checked out this whole area here. First place we were, we were at Sparta. We'll just check just in case. I think this is like. Uh, there was a planet that we landed on here, I believe. Yeah, we had landed here. It's the one we started in. Check. Yeah. So yeah, we went to this one. So this is, yeah, this is the one I think that we're the last one in this system that we have. So Pharos, um, just Pharos has seen only a curiously uh, examination by an unmanned probe. It has a trace atmosphere of nitrogen and argon. Its surface is mainly composed of tin with deposits of carbon. Deeper craters have been partially filled by ice. Assuming there may be a significant amount of water locked up beneath the frozen surface, a large ice bright crater in the southern hemisphere makes the planets visible from the inner system leading to the planet's name. Uh, we got the Turian Insignia recovered. Skins of a planet revealed an abandoned base that's moon. The recon team found nothing but interest, but much of the debris was marked with the Magna Colony... Uh, oh no. Magna Colony Insignia. Okay. Uh, Nausicaa. Traces of sodium in the atmosphere give Nazca its overall dark gray color, but is otherwise a typical hydrogen helium gas giant and abundance of water vapor in the upper atmosphere capture its white clouds. Salamis. Geological properties of Salamis have been scanned from orbit, but little else is known about it due to its thick carbon dioxide atmosphere and proximity to the energetic star Athens. The equatorial daytime temperatures have been known to turn the surface molten. The crust is composed of iron of platinum group metals. <coughs> Circe? Or Cerise? Circe? Is a modestly uh, sized hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of sulfur and chlorine. These give it its striking yellow green tint as the development of the uh, Proteus colony continues. Circe uh, will likely be developed for helium 3 mining. We found a gas deposit. Proteus. That's a nice color. Like the Hanar homeworld, Proteus has more than 90% oceanic cover. The incredible heat thrown off from Athens raises global humidity to 100%, creates constant cloud cover, and powers colossal typhoons that rage across the surface year-round. Hot, humid, and storm-racked, Prote uh, Proteus's rare combination of oxygen, nitrogen, and atmosphere, carbon-based biosphere, nevertheless recommended for colonization. A pilot program is studying the possibility of colonies below the ocean surface, safe from the worst effects of the weather. Colony founded 2179, population 12,470, capital of Ithaca. And we uh, got some free oxygen. Hell yeah, there we go. Alright, so we got that, and Konos was where we just were, I believe, correct? Okay, so, Artemis Tau, we're done on Artemis Tau. Um, so let me, let me go ahead and exit here. Um, in terms of the journal, 
Uh, yeah, we have a tree insignia. Nice. Bunch of stuff here. Just all the gases. Um. So Conrad, uh, strange transmission. Usual readings. So Navarian Pharos. So these are the two places that we have to go. So we also have, is there anything, so we just have, we just have the citadel here. Walking Ada, all right, so let's see, Hades Gamma, we have two places, we have uh, Antius and Farinata. We'll check these two places out. We flung all the way over to here. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies. They're afraid of sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. Um. Enemy what strength? Kind of resistance should I expect? The biotics were seen loading equipment into the freighter. Expect traps and combat drones. Nothing you can't handle. Okay. What's the priority on saving the chairman? Saving would be my preference, but we must make it clear that these tactics don't work, Commander. Your top priority is to neutralize the biotics. All right, what their the demands. Asking for? They're L2 biotics, and most of them are suffering major side effects from the implants. The subcommittee denied a request for reparations to all L2 biotics. Mm. Apparently, they'd like the chairman to reconsider. All right, I'll check out. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth fleet out. Alright, so that would be that there. Assuming. We have Nepnu. With a rare combination of features, Nepnu is a particular interest uh, of is a particular interest of the scientific community. Nepnu is a small terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. As with all the worlds of Farinata, its surface is scorching hot. The crust mainly consists of silicates laced with iron. We got a rare element, thorium. Yeah, you want to scan all these planets because you want to get all the goodies. Ooh, got a little unknown here. Rocky asteroid, huh? Survey, light metal, magnesium. Yeah, sometimes you'll come across that uh, if you just kind of like, you know, loop around. Sometimes you'll come across those. They're not like super common, but. Tenshagen. Uh, uh, Tenshagen is a hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and nitrogen in its atmosphere. It is a it has an unusually small amount of moons for gas giant. A mere seven. A mere seven. Uh, this is no doubt due to the star Farinata capturing the majority of the mass during the nebular collapse that created the system. Their day length is only nine hours. Uh, Juntauma. Juntauma is a small broiling terrestrial world. Its thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane is being steadily blown off by the powerful solar wind from the star Farinata. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of copper. Its density is low enough to leave the world tidally locked to Farinata. The Alliance Defense Def Data Network notes that several ships have been spotted cruising near uh, Juntauma with uh, transponders turned off. When Alliance Patrol attempted pursuit of one, the unidentified vessel rabbited to FTL. Its trail was lost when it was when it obscured its light trace and the confusion of signals along the Anas, uh, uh, An An Anasi Ishtar shipping lane. We got a Prothean data disk as well. Scans of 
The Talma revealed a derelict freighter in mid-stage orbital decay. Your salvage team boarded the vessel. Determined had been attacked by raiders. There was little value still on board, but the team did find a Prothean data disk. Alright, so, uh, the last thing that we have is the MSV Ontario. It is, the Ontario is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design, uh, configured for mixed freight and passenger hauling. It is making a hard burn for the cover of an asteroid cluster. And we're gonna board it and take the dudes out. So we're gonna take Rex. Uh, let me see here. We're gonna take Rex and we're gonna take Liara. Um, let me just check real quick in terms of like, where's the, Um, anyway, um, does Rex have stuff? No, he doesn't. Do I, but Liara does. So, um, Liara, uh, I do her Asari Scientist. Um, and then I do First Aid on her as well. Um, and Electronics. So she's kind of like a combination of Caden and Tally in terms of that kind of stuff. I typically like um, using her for that purpose. Singularity and lift, warp. All right, so yeah, first aid and then electronics because she does vehicle repair. And then Pretty much, I'll just, I think that like, because uh, like barrier is a good shield thing if we ever decide to do that. I mean, throw's kind of silly. Um, let's do, let's do a little bit of barrier and we'll just kind of start doing throw and barrier, I think. All right, I think that's all. I can't see how many points because my stream thing is blocking it, so. But, yeah, so, um... Just keep working on all that good stuff. Because, yeah, like, I could use first aid as well, but, like, you know... A combination of kind of everything else. Alright. Um, journal... Assignments, yeah, the hostage, data disk... Okay, codex. Communication war. Data disks. So, despite the evidence confirming the existence of the Protheans, little is known of their culture. The pr recent research focused on the discovery of Prothean data disks on their own. They are frail and rarely found in one piece. Occasionally, however, an intact disk will be recovered with a console or reading device. To date, over three dozen disks have been recovered, and a few of those have been restored to the point where researchers can begin analyzing them. Um On me. So there are typically uses a pistol um I give you like info. Give me like. I don't know what I don't know what that means. Map to what?
Okay, so we're in, um, let's see, we have this here, we have a crate, some stuff. Oh, actually, hold on, let me, let me just real quick, do any equipment. Um, that's for three. So Liara, let's give her the Lancer 3. It's my phone. Um, Storm 1. Um, she can keep the shotgun she's got. I mean, this is a better pistol. For the Reaper too. Same biotic thing. She can't use any of this, so it doesn't matter. All right, and then um, I mean, I guess we can just give him this. I know that he kind of looks like me, but... Okay, let me save this just in case. Let's do a save real quick. Rex, we're twins! Fucking storm this. Storm this room right here. They're gonna get fucked up. Intruders, kill the hostage. What? Keep forgetting these guys are biotics. Level up to vaporized, motherfucker. Vaporized. All right. We got two minutes. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only right. thing people appreciate. So how about Try to de-escalate this. Burns and finish the charade. Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it's, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. This is why you invest. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What? We're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. 
For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A fifth no cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Okay. Well, there we go. Um... Hold on a second. I got a... Something I gotta answer real quick. Sorry about that, I had an important text. Alright, so, uh, we, we've saved the chairman. Uh, that, like I said, that's why you invest. That's why you invest in, like, in, in getting the, uh, I can't do that either. Uh, in, in doing that stuff. Thank you, Commander. I thought You're I welcome. was dead when they took me. Um, alright, level, level up, uh, level up. Um, let's see here. Um, I mean, you know. Sniper rifles. <laughs> At this point, with this gun that I got here, I can't wear my helmet. I keep forgetting that I wear my helmet. Oops. Um. Okay. So for you know, for the R, we're just gonna do the same thing. Um. Stasis. Uh. With Rex, let's do. Let's see here. Um, let's do... Combat armor. We'll do three in fitness. It's got a lot of health. Alright. Mio Mayo. Okay. So, man, a lot of stuff too low for here, of course. So I have a tech expert. I know a lot of people probably are screaming at me over certain things. Um, like, oh, that's why you have like this or this. And it's like, I understand that. But like, I like to play this game just as a, like a certain way. I'm, I'm a big weapons guy. I don't like to use a lot of the powers like everybody else does. So for me, it's like, um, I prefer to use like just guns and shit. I know there's a lot of people who just like, you know, like using certain stuff. Um, but that's why, you know, you do you in your playthrough, you know? I mean, this playthrough is just, you know, for for the channel, and because I want everybody to experience the story with me and come along on a journey of something that I, I thoroughly enjoy, so, you know? Alright, so we're going to exit to Normandy. We got that problem solved. And let me just save real quick here, because I want to see something. I'm just going to quit to the main menu here real quick. Maybe. Uh, oops. It's options, right? Oh, the reason that we're going to quit the... I want to just see something real quick here. I want to go to the achievements. Um... All right, so we need Rex, we need, uh, and we need um, Liara, all right.
Okay, so yeah, we're, we're still rocking the team. So, typically I bring along um, Tally and Liara, or, um, like, I usually I'll use Ashley as well, but we're we're actually going to change it up. Message gonna, coming in. We're going to... Patching it through. We're going to be Thank you for Kate dealing through. with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman no Burns problem. I was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Absolutely. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fleet out. It's my job. My job is to de-escalate and, and help. That's why you invest in the in the good stuff. You don't want people to die. So I'm a I'm a straight up paragon, man. All right. So we got Farinata, and then we have the other. We have uh, Antaeus here. Travel to Antaeus. All right, so we got Vimal. Vimal is an enormous terrestrial world of mixed rock and ice with an atmosphere of methane and ethane. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of calcium with deposits of iron. Because of noxious surface gases, explorers are warned to use extreme caution. I got some uranium. Can't, can't have that on Earth at this point. Not allowed to have that. We got Ploba. Ploba is the second by far the larger of Antaeus' two gas giants. Active scans by survey ships have returned tantalizing indications of massive solid structures deep within the atmosphere, too regular in pattern to be anything natural. Some believe Ploba is a Jupiter brain, a planet-sized supercomputer. Adherents to this theory have fruitlessly beamed signals towards the sunken megastructures, hoping to get the machine's attention. Others believe that an ancient spacefaring race disposed of their weapons of war by dumping them into the planet. The last attempt to reach the, and salvage Plova's deep anomalies went tragically wrong and ended with a crew of 12 being trapped and crushed in the gas giant's lower atmosphere. That's fucking horrific. Matriarch writings recovered. We discovered a strange object orbiting Ploba. Chief Engineer Adams and Tally tried unsuccessfully to determine its origins. They did find one of the Matriarch uh, Dalinga's writings stored within. That's horrific. You do not want to... That's something you don't want to happen to you. A gecko. During the initial survey of the uh, Antea system, only a single flyby probe was spared for the small scorched world of a gecko. It revealed the planet unusually rich in heavier elements given its size. A gecko is a standard terrestrial uh, within a thin atmosphere of krypton and xenon. Its crust is mainly composed of magnesium with deposits of cobalt and other heavy metals. Due to extremely rough crater terrain, starships are discouraged from landing. Edmos. Edmos is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of methane in its atmosphere. If uh, Trebin's terraforming is successful, it is expected that a helium-3 uh, fuel refining facility for the system will be set up here. Um, we'll scan the planet of Edmos. We detect a large concentration of hydrogen. All right, so there's some hydrogen. Nice. We got uh, Hunador. Hunador is a moderately sized ice world with an extremely thin atmosphere composed of krypton and xenon. Its frozen surface is unusually smooth, suggesting widespread repaving by cryptovolcanic processes, though no such activity is currently evident. And last, we have Trebin. Trebin is a modest terrestrial world with an atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon. Its surface is mainly composed of nickel and deposits of silver. Trebin's environment is relatively mild, but the scarcity of water or similar enabling substances have prevented the development of an any biosphere. Exogeny Corp. recently performed a test impact of a single water ice comet into the surface with the first step of a long-term plan to thicken the atmosphere and introduce water to the environment. Survey team on the surface monitoring the geological and meteor meteorological effects on the test impact. Uh, most of the water released is still in the form of an atmospheric vapor, but thick cloud banks have formed. There is every indication that this arid world will soon see its first rain. Survey team's progress have been hampered by frequent mechanical or computer failures of their GPS satellites. We can land here, so that's what we're going to do, folks. We're going to land. Because we always want to land and do fun things. So this isn't really a mission, so since we took Tally, uh, we're going to take um, Ashley and Caden to get their level ups. Um, because this isn't a mission, so... Um, this isn't going to... 
This isn't gonna count towards the achievement. And I want to be able to level them up, because you can only level them up once you take them somewhere. Squad it up! Alright, so... Kate's got the... Description. Alright, so Ashley, she's not really too important um, in terms of like leveling up, but we'll give her it's got, she's got like we'll do assault training we'll do fitness um A little bit of combat armor. Maybe a little bit of first aid. Alright, that's all the points that we can use for that. She's pretty leveled up evenly overall, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't really invest in pistol. That's why we haven't done pistols yet. Um, but we do need to invest in pistol to unlock shotgun, um, which I do kind of use. But I'm kind of invested in sniper rifle and assault rifle right now. So I kind of want to do that. Uh, yeah, valuable minerals. We got all the gases, folks. There it is. Hell yeah. Still got... Uh, Rare earths, heavy metals, and light metals. Okay, so now that we're here, we have a we have a debris. We also have a extra little mineral thing out here. Top there, but it's not gonna happen. Oh, real rocky. It's real rocky. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Plutonium. Very nice. Shit, they got wrecked. They got wrecked and wrecked hard. Sorry, uh, all of you are dead. <laughs> Alright, salvage this. Oh no, my electronics is too low. Boo. Boo. It's alright. I can always come back here later if I really want to. Um, alright, so we got an anomaly. A lot of people are probably screaming at me. See? That's why you... Can't always get what we want. Can't be everything. Oh, God. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Oh man. Oh. Oh. We're throwing her around. We're throwing her around. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, fuck the fuck. This is, there's a 
a bunch of crash probes here. This device is transmitting type beam signals in the geosynchronous orbit. This disrupts the survey team's GPS now. It's causing them to crash. Can we fucking... Can we fuck with any of these? Nah. Cannot. Alright, cool. So we got that. Um, let's see. We got a... Research base. Both at the same time, you use the jump jets, and then you just like get a boost. Oh, we got two little, we got two little things right here. We got a little thing down here. Oh, look at that! Looky, looky. Got myself. All right, all right, all right. Point. Okay, well, let's just. It's fatigued, man. Okay, we got a meta gel. Don't need it, but I got it. Okay, an armor upgrade. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. Yeah. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. do that every time? Could be answers at the excavation site. I don't know why anybody would ever pay Metagel to open something. It seems ridiculous to me. All right, so yeah, so we have uh, we have this anomaly over here, and then we have the excavation site, which is just right down the road here. All right, so let's head to the excavation site. Now, this is always like to me the funnest part of Mass Effect is is. He's going to these planets and just doing these little, like, these little things where you explore. Oh. I cannot recommend it enough. It's so much fun. Hello? Anybody home? Anybody here who wants to die, though? Oh, boy, we got, we got some, we got some dudes. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, what is, what does this do? Use neuro shock. Uh, use no. overkill. Sabotage. I don't even know what it does. Can't remember. Okay. Uh, enemy weapons. It's not helpful. Machine cultists. They unearthed some kind of alien technology, Jesus. and it turns them into mindless fanatics. 
Uh, it turns them into husks. I, I mean, I don't know why you're calling them mindless fanatics. But, okay. Alright. Let's blow all these up so we don't get our asses blown up. Alright, we got a crate over here. Accounts for all the Exogeny survey team. They were converted into cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How can they how they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from Geth territory is a mystery. Sure. Yeah, be this right here is Looks kinda Reaper esque, to be honest. At least to me anyway. Okay, well, I mean, you know. There's more doors, though. Alright, what do we got in here? Oh, yep, see the geth things. Alright. I just wish there was like a better like sprint. Wish I had more sprint. Sludge canister, huh? Okay. All right. Well, uh, what do we have in terms of equipment now? I guess. Let's see here. So, ooh, Raptor Four. I will check out some upgrades, right? I got Hammerhead Rounds 2 currently, right? Um, there's just organics that they personal Rounds 3. Hammerhead, round, hammerhead Rounds 3. Ooh, shield Bypass, but less damage. Yeah, then I'm gonna do Heaverhead rounds three here. Um, let's see here. So we have Heat Sink 2, we have Heat Sink 3 as well. Stability. Accuracy. Let's go with Heat Sink 3, I think. And then with the shotgun, well, I'm not really invested in the shotgun right now, but it's a better, it's a much better shotgun. Scimitar 5. All right, um... I, mean, I have Hammerhead Rounds 1, might as well use Hammerhead Rounds 3. And then Combat Sensor... I mean, 
mean, I think that, like, uh, I think that the accuracy would be better. It's improved sighting. Pistol, uh, let's see. Edge four. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Anti personnel rounds one. How about anti personnel rounds three, bud? And for this, um, let's see. Let me recoil them for weapon stability once again. Yeah, recoil dampener three. Fuck it. Sniper rifle. Oh, hell yeah! Here we go. Accuracy, heat sink capacity. This takes the damage down, but the heat sink and the accuracy go up. Um. Yeah, let's do the striker. I think. And then let's see upgrades. Armor piercing rounds too. Let's do armor piercing rounds three. Caliber barrel one. Do I have a high caliber barrel? Th yeah, three. All right. Yep. Let's do that. Grenade, high explosive one. Yeah. All right. Then um, nothing of interest here. Okay. I'm only going to change me because, um, like, the other ones don't really matter currently. This is the other door. Oh yeah, we have to go back. Over this way. Oh yeah, look at that. The rate of the, the heat absorption is great on that. It does not overheat very easily. Okay, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, I will probably, like, uh, just, like, change everybody off camera, like, in terms of everything that everybody's gonna have. Um, but I mean, we'll probably, I'll probably end up just, like, really kind of getting the weapons for Liara specifically and for probably Caden um, but I'm not really too sure who I want to have the other squad for the team you know um, okay so we'll head to this anomaly over here here as well. Of course, it's a fucking pressure bomb.
Alright, well, we got some ancient debris here. Turian Insignia. Nice. Uh, Naminus Colony Insignia. There we go. Kill. Woo! Oh my god. Jesus. Well, there you go. We got the we got that fucker. Oh my god. They're never worth it. They really are never worth it. All right, so now we've done Hades Gamma. We have a Voyager cluster now. Amazon, oh boy. We're gonna get to go to the home world of Jeff Bezos. Jeffrey Bezos. I bet, I, I bet all of you have seen Inside by now. Um, one of the greatest. Commander, incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In yeah? the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes right. this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton oh, okay. tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. Yep. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. I'll handle it. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. The fleet out. All right. Got a nuke to deal with now. All right, let's see here. 
All right, uh, Age Binium. Oh, this is where we gotta land, okay, so we're gonna back out of that real quick. Uh, so, uh, Sonedma. Uh, Sonedma is the second of the Amazon system's arid super terrestrial worlds. It is considerably less dense than its neighbor. Uh, Der... Der... Yeah, I bet there's a nuke. It has an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of iron-laced silicates and deposits of sulfur. We got a rare element. We got... Polo, uh, polonium. Its neighbor, the nuke. Uh, der, der, it's probably Dernusa. is an enormous terrestrial world nearly twice the size of Earth. Its environment is similar to that of Mars. Air in a mix of craggy basalt highlands and sand scoured deserts of iron laced silicate, silicate dust. Dernusa's atmosphere mainly consists of carbon dioxide and argon. But the plant's mass is great enough that measurable amounts of helium and even molecular hydrogen remain trapped in the atmosphere. The plant's gravity well is deep enough that it has collected nearly a dozen small satellites, mostly captured asteroids. Its surface is scarred by many large impact craters, making marking the final resting place of other captured asteroids. <laughs> got Sybin. Small rock and ice planet Sybin has an extremely thin atmosphere of hydrogen sulfide and ethane. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of magnesium and silicates with deposits of iron. Sybin's crust contains significant deposits of green serpentine, a mineral formed by volcanic activity. This is just Sybin was a more geologically active world in the distant past. We've got a Turian and Cygna as well. We discovered a large mine grid in Geosecretus orbit. With the help from the Navigator Presley, Recon Team, remember the small and mid probe mark with the Quantum Outpost in Cigna. And Tremar. Tremar is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of methane and nitrogen in its upper atmosphere. We've also got some nitrogen gas. Alright, so. Uh, Agebinium. Or Agebinium. Uh, Agebinium is a small ter terrestrial world with an extremely thin atmosphere. Carbon dioxide krypton, though the planet has sufficient mass to maintain a much thicker atmosphere, much of it is blasted away. The red giant Amazon is a large period variable star, currently in the uh, nadir of a 16 year cycle. At peak, its energy output doubles, lashing agibinium with intense heat and radiation. The crust is mainly composed of um, aluminum with deposits of tin. Much of the surface is coated with fine silicate dust, which easily uh, Penetrates the smallest cracks of foul to foul machinery. And we're gonna go land there and find a nuke. Alright, we'll take Tally uh, and Garrus on this one. To be able to, like, level them up. Garrus, Garrus and, and Liara will probably be the squad, to be honest. I always like having Garrus with me. Beep bop. Got the Mellow Exploration 2. Land on four Uncharted Worlds. Alright, Garrus, what do you got here? So, obviously, he's got sniper rifle stuff. It's kind of his bag. Let's get his decryption up here to at least the hard. Electronic objects. Right. So yeah, we'll uh because he's he's gonna give us decryption and electronics while Liaro will give us like first aid and stuff, and he's also got first aid, so right. Tally so get her decryption up. All right, she's got electronics all the way up as well. Basic armor. Let's get her pistol up here. Okay. Uh, Machinist all the way up. 
at least one in dampening, one in hacking. Alright, basic armor. Alright, what we get with that? I don't think I have anything, right? No. So this is considered a mission, so, but I, I want to get, I want to at least use them. Get their stuff here. Lion's homing beacon, so we're gonna go to the anomaly first. We're gonna get the beacon to last. The sky, this guy's great. Oh, except for that giant burning star. Question mark over here, actually. Let's check that out. Like I said, sometimes you do. Uh, I said in an earlier part that sometimes you'll come across things that aren't marked on the map, which is good. Um, you know, you're not always gonna. Brushing away the carbonization on the door of the uh, contragravity speeder, you see the Nizo brand name. Judging by the charring, the wreckage has been here since the star's last variable peak. The corpse is wearing the remains of an expensive suit and what appears to be melted antique aviator goggles. Okay. Give me something on my map. Oh, what's that? So yeah, you're not always going to find... There, there's always going to be, like deposits of stuff or like little extra secrets that may be around that you don't see on the map and uh you know you just have to look for them i like i said i used to spend hours just kind of going to planets and driving all around to make sure that i had cleared everything out another corpse here Terrain Insignia for the Siglar Outpost. Uh, this body is a long way from anything and appears to have been here for quite some time. It's got a book of drawings. Seems to be like a little camp down here. Anything at the little camp? No. Don't see any containers or anything? So we'll go up here. This here. It's crash probe. Just all Y. Oh, nice. Got some vehicle upgrades. Okay, and now um, we'll go to the Alliance Homing Beacon. But first, we'll save the game, just in case. Oh god. Come 
on, Mako, you can do it. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy. And here we are. The signal's coming from a mine? Suspicious. Damn, Garrus, Garrus' helmet looks the cool as hell. The did not crash. Someone moved it here. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. Affirmative. Yeah, we're gonna get in here and... Now I'm gonna save as well. Just in case. Let's not go waving our guns around just in case. I just climb on top of boxes. Okay, a bunch of crates. Door here. Door here. I don't think there's anything over here. The music just disappeared. Okay, we can't open that door. We can open this one though. Oh god. That was oh god. Hand, oh god. Shepherd, at last. <laughs> Who the hell are you? You have me at a disadvantage. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, uh, slavers, criminals of every stripe. I don't study the internal politics of pirate bands. The strongest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. Oh, the Skillion Blitz. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator, the one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? My crew will come for me. <sighs> Let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. We'll find a way out of here. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? We've got air and light and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. All slowed down for me. Haha. -ha. 
I disabled the bomb. You big dumb idiot. Got him. Look at that. Oh, it's 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 this. That's what the uh, that's what that was. Well, there we go. Uh, we can. How do we just like, is there any way to like... Got I mean, how am I supposed to get to the... Oh, there we go. Just return to Normandy. There we go. Alright. I was like, I just want to leave. Well, there we go. We, uh... We just armed the nuke. And we've done the Voyager cluster now. We have the Message Armstrong in Nebula. Brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in Geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong cluster. We need someone to take them out. All right, any more information? Any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. All right. I'm on it, Admiral. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. All right, so we got um, these four areas. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, Gagarin. We'll travel here. And uh, I think what we'll do is next time we will do the Armstrong Nebula. Uh, we'll do the Kepler Verge, we'll do the Hawking Ada, Argos Rayo, and the Gemini Sigma. And then um, we'll be able to go to the asteroid, uh, we'll be able to go to the Exodus Cluster, do the asteroid. Then we'll be able to continue with main stuff, so just to you know, go around and explore all these so that we don't have to do them later. Um, but yeah, so yeah, Espionage Probe. Is he like, is he there? Hold on a second. Wait, hold on. Was he there and then uh, in? Is he on this planet still? I to like take him out, but like, what it? Is 
So I mean I escaped from there. Where would he be where would he be at? Alright, well, I think we'll save and then next time we'll I'll uh I'll see if uh what that is. Um and then we'll we'll do that next time. We'll see if we can uh figure that out. So uh take care everybody, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.